You caught me out here birding at Catoctin Mountain Park. I'm Ranger Carey, and I was hoping you could join me. Whoa, did you just see that? Did you see that? I think that was a bird. Did you get a good view? It may have been a female cardinal. Let's watch that again. Sure looks like it. It's a medium bird, about 10 to 12 inches. It's kind of grayish. Kind of is camouflaged out there in the woods, wouldn't you say? It, it blends in more than a male cardinal. It was a blur. It was, it was like a red, but kind of grayish blur. I think it was a female cardinal. You know, they're, they're about the size of a robin, and um, they, they're more camouflaged than the male birds. And they fly about, they're easier to see this time of year. Um, you know, we're late fall, early winter here. Um, we don't have all the leaves on the tree to disguise them. And they love the habitat here at Catoctin Mountain Park. We have, actually, we've got a range of habitat here at Catoctin Mountain Park, but they, they love the uh, coniferous and deciduous woods here that we have. Um, we're out here near the trail, and I'm near um, some tulip poplars, oak trees, and I even have a couple hemlock trees right here near me. So again, a really great spot to catch some, some cardinals. <gasps> did you see that flash again? Oh, did you see that red blur again? This one was much brighter than before. I think that was the male cardinal. Yes. Oh, it takes patience to see a beautiful bird like this, but it was worth it. This bright bird is one of my favorites. It just brightens a winter scene. The plumage or feathers of a bird like this is really great evidence or indication of what, what bird you're looking at. And boy, that cardinal was beautiful. Wow, that was, that was bright red. I, that was definitely, I think the male, I even think I saw the orange beak on it. Um, again, they're really easy to spot this time of year. And the males, well, they, they're just really bold color any time of year, but especially now when we're lacking so much color at the late fall period. Um, the males and females are active, so keep your eyes out there. They're a bird that we spot often here at Catoctin again throughout the season, so keep your eyes open. I'm just so glad you joined me today. We're out here birding at the park, and I thought maybe you could learn along with me. I'm an amateur birder. Amateur, well, you know, I love to bird, but I'm not an expert. And so I'm out here trying to see what I can find, um, and just having a lot of fun. Birding is actually one of the fastest growing hobbies um, and sports here in the United States and around the world actually. And so people will come to the park here or anywhere. In fact, did you know you can bird anywhere? You can bird at the park and on the trail. And even from your car. I just saw a bald eagle. And through your window. We don't have any skyscrapers here, but you get the idea. You can even bird from there. You can bird anywhere. And birding, some of us like to use different tools, but many times I come out here birding and I don't need anything. Sometimes I'll bring a pad of paper just to jot my notes down. Actually, I really need to do that most of the time. Others like to bring a birding book and, and some like to bring, well, their birding guide or an expert. All right, so before I get too excited out here, we probably should talk more about how to bird, right? Birding is all about being a good detective, being patient, being a good listener. Really, again, being patient. When you're out here, you're you're trying to listen and look, but you're looking for those things that stand out, whether it's, you know, like I said, a particular noise, leaves rustling around, almost like you hear a flock of, of uh, turkeys coming through. Um, again, you're listening for what's going on. Good detectives write down those notes. So when you're birding, you're looking for um, actual markings on the bird. You're looking to see what body shape they are. You're looking to see what their feet are like. You're looking to see their different movements or actions when you're out here. And again, good detectives are jotting those notes down, notes down or jotting them down in the back of their mind, right? And so as we're out here, we're looking, and we're listening. And so together, we're gonna look for different types of birds. There are different classifications of our birds, whether you have uh, owls or you have waterfowl or you have raptors. Again, there are different classifications for birds. We're gonna keep it simple out here today. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what we're gonna find, but you know, we're looking for the birds that normally hang out here at Catoctin Mountain Park, which they can range at different times of the year. We have birds that migrate through the park and we have birds that also stay through the park. So I'm hoping we find some woodpeckers today. I'm hoping that we see some songbirds today. We might see a raptor. I'm thinking it's the wrong time of day here late in the afternoon for an owl. However, they could be coming out as the sun sets tonight. 
Another type of bird I think that we're probably not going to see is any waterfowl. But again, just always be prepared. Know what kind of habitat you're in. And again, we've got a range of habitats here. But being a good detective, again, it's hard for Ranger Carrie to be patient. She really likes to get excited and get out there and see things. But in order to see things, you've got to be looking. Oh wow, do you see this? Look at the woodpecker holes here. Looks like some recent activity. They're looking for some insects. Oh, did you see that? Whoa, did you just see that? Look at this woodpecker right here. Oh, it's sneaking around that tree. It's going around that trunk. I think that looks like a yellow-bellied sapsucker. Look at it. Let's take a closer look. I see red on its head and red under its chin. Kind of like, almost like a bib area. Where'd it go? It's hiding again. This is about the size of a robin. And I believe that this bird is the only migratory bird, 100% migratory bird or woodpecker in the east. Oh, I see another woodpecker. Look who we have here. Oh, gosh, I gotta get a closer look to see if this is a downy or a hairy woodpecker. They're, they range in size. Look at them. Oh, there they fluttered off. He's looking for some morsels out there. There he is again. Look at that woodpecker. Gosh, he's so fun to watch. Look at all the unique black and white markings on its head. It has a black line kind of down the back of its head. Did you notice that? Keep a good eye on all that. A nice white breast on it. And it has found a little bit of a honey hole, it looks like there. Look at that. Pecking away, moving around, spiraling around that tree. We are really lucky to have a healthy forest, a young and mature forest. Some woodpeckers really prefer a mature forest. And we have a lot of 80 to 100 year old trees here at the park. Um, and so again, mature meaning older trees. So well, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can find out here. Do you hear that? There's not a lot of wind out here, but all I hear are leaves just rustling around. It's like I heard a deer about to come through. I don't see anything. What do you see? Do you hear it? I, maybe it's a bunch of turkeys. I would love to see some turkeys today. Oh, I think we figured out who's making all that noise in the leaves. Look at this cute little guy. We've got a little bird peeking up here out of the leaves. Oh, and he looks like he's eating something. He's moving his beak. Looks like the size of a sparrow, just a little bird. Gosh, about four or five inches. I notice not just the brown feathers, but if, when he looks back up at us, I see some yellow on there. I think that we found a white-throated sparrow. Oh, they're really known for this kind of activity where they can move both of their feet at the same time in those leaves, trying to stir up some insects or find some seeds. And when they find it, boy, they pounce. Look at this little guy go. It is really moving about, trying to find some food. It's making a lot of noise in there. Gosh, I don't know what we're gonna find next. Let's go check it out. What's gonna be the next bird? So I'm over here by the bushes trying to be quiet as I look for some songbirds. They really love to fly into bushes like this here. So I'm looking for them, waiting patiently, and oh, what just flew over there? Oh, who is that? Look at this cute little bird. Oh, and he already flew off. Oh, well, look at, here. Here, that little bird flew over here. It looks like we have a Carolina chickadee. Look at that little body, but black head. Oh, he's posing right there in the shrubs. Oh, he's jumping down. Oh, here's that chickadee. Oh, it's just bouncing around in here. Look at it, it even can reach sideways. They're known to be quite acrobatic birds. Look at him, he can go sideways, upside down off of this leaf. Look at that. It is amazing. Again, giving us a better look at that. Kind of like, almost like a white, dirty, uh, brown uh, chest, but it had a white bib on it. Oh, I saw another flash, look up there. Oh, look at this cute bird here. Oh, it's got a little morsel in its beak. Another little bird. Gosh, about the size of the chickadee. I think that we have a, a nuthatch here. I think it is. I think we have white-breasted nuthatch. Look at that black mohawk it has on top of its head, and boy, it is just having a time here with its food. It almost, I think he just hid that little morsel underneath the bark. They're known to do that. Boy, he's stuffing it in there for later. He is active though, isn't he? He's moving here and there. 
Look at the beautiful markings on this bird. Nice bright white chest, gray back feathers with light gray and black mixed in. Oh, it's just a nice little bird there moving around on this redbud tree. Boy, I had no idea how they did such a good job of hiding their food, but look at this guy go. He's pecking about almost like a woodpecker here. They certainly love different insects and seeds. He's got a good hold on that tree, but as you notice, he's, he's kind of going up and down and all around. Boy, this nuthatch is busy. It must really know that winter's coming. It's stashing some food away here in this tree. But again, look at the really beautiful, beautiful markings on this bird. You see so much white right around those eyes. And again, you see again that black, black almost mohawk. But then now you're seeing it do its acrobatics for you. Did you just see it go upside down? Boy, that chickadee and the nuthatch have a lot in common. All right, so the lighting is changing out here. It's gonna get dark really soon. In fact, it's already started to change in color, which means different birds are gonna come out. We found quite a few birds out on the trail today. I've had so much fun birding with you. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Hope maybe you've learned about a couple new birds and or you've helped identify birds you've seen before. Well, you can come join us here at the park anytime you want at Catacta Mountain Park to go birding. But again, remember, you can do this from home, from a car, from your workplace. So see you on the trail next time and happy birding.